we've never seen before in Isaac. I, I have not spoiled myself on, you know, what happens with this character at all, or this side of the game at all. It's, it's a world first, at least in my world. More options, less rooms. Let's give it a try. Da -da, da -da -da -da. Basement one. Would you like to go to the store? I don't... Uh, okay, okay, hold on. This is not news to me. I know what's going on here. I don't know what my HP looks like, but I do know Scorpio. Hey, that's not a bad item. So I think what's happening is that let's say more more options, less items. So we have here's my guess, okay, for what we got going on as uh, as like tainted Isaac here. My guess is you can only hold eight items, but in exchange you get a choice of item on every item pedestal. That seemed, because we've already seen this mechanic with another item in the past. Okay, that seems neat. And dude, I'm just realizing like we got, the reason we started with no just chatting today, I'm realizing like, you know, I'm my, my stream is not a ribeye steak right now. You know, we, we don't have any fat. We don't have any bones. Like it's pork tenderloin. It's gotta be all meat. Now, I know what you're going to say. A ribeye steak is better than, than pork tenderloin. You'd absolutely be correct. It's not even uh, close. I agree. I would much rather have the ribeye steak. However, we got to stay pretty lean here because, you know, we've only got uh, five hours on stream, three hours for Isaac, and uh, about a billion things to unlock. <laughs> so let's give it a try. What about beef tenderloin, though? No, I, uh, dude, honestly, like, I know beef tenderloin is maybe the most expensive cut. I prefer a, a, a cut that has a little bit of fat on it, though. I mean, as long as we're talking about beef, like, you know, tenderloin's great, don't get me wrong. I'd rather have, a, you know, a filet. I'd rather have ribeye. I might honestly even rather have, like, a... I've, I've really come around to the short rib lately. You know, used to think, like, you got the choice between, like, sweet and sour chicken or, like, beef garlic short ribs when you're at a, a, an American Chinese restaurant. Eventually started, you know, testing out the uh, beef garlic short ribs, and I'm like, wait a minute, these are delicious. I've been, I've been missing out. Well, you know what? We don't need to go all path here. Yeah, frickin' steak, baby. Woo! Why'd you do speed? Honestly, can I tell you why? I got on the banter coefficient and forgot that the items change, uh, and then I just picked it up. <laughs> okay, we got Chaos and Dad's Ring. So here's the thing. Um, Dad's Ring is probably better, but Chaos could be super cool when you also consider that we have uh, the double item pedestal. So let's get Chaos. <laughs> no, no, we hit friction. Sarova! <laughs> the chaos play. Hello, Bear Taffy, by the way. Hello. Yo, what's up with the library on this version of Isaac? The books do be moving. We definitely just want this. This book doesn't matter. Please don't change my satanic Bible on me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Easy win. Good luck on your runs, brother. Mine were poo poo. Dude, I, I honestly have nothing to complain about. Like yesterday, we, we had very few wins, but we had like a super win at the end, which has led us to this situation we find ourselves in. Um, but we also tried to do like the hardest things in the game yesterday. And when it doesn't work, you're just like, okay, fair enough. But my, my luck has not been really bad. Like, dude, earlier today I had a, a Bethany run where I got Let It Rip, the Beyblade item. I had no idea, like, what it did at all, but it was so good. When I figured out what it did, it creates, basically, because it has, like, a zero room charge on it, it creates, like, an infinite um, amount of wisps, but they go away as soon as you let go of the space bar. Okay, both of these I say no to because I like Satanic Bible. Yeah, so if you have rubber banding, we, we've been through this before, but if you have rubber banding, really big band, 
Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna set Twitch on auto instead of setting it on a quality preset. Is that correct, chat? We've been through this a few times. Or is it vice versa? You have it backwards. Okay. Whatever, whatever your stream setting is on, adjust it. <laughs> How about that? If it's on auto, put it on source. And if it's on source, put it on auto. And if you're on 1440p, try, you know, 360. It'll serve you right, I promise. By the way, I'm stoked. After reaching, like, peak COVID malaise yesterday, uh, I got a beautiful text this morning at, like, 7.30 a.m. My parents were like, hey, we got our uh, vaccine appointment, and it's tomorrow. And I was like, that's Poggy Woggy. Very excited for them. And very excited eventually that I can rub in their face that they're probably going to end up getting that AstraZeneca. <laughs> I'll end up, I don't want to flex, but probably with like a Johnson & Johnson or something. Um, mm, okay, I think we go Dark Bum here. No big deal. This is a tough choice though. I, I love a run that makes you, uh, makes you make tough choices. Yeah, Dark Bomb is nerfed, but still, like, nerf this. Okay, they nerfed this, apparently. Dude, you know, why not, uh, why not go with the alt path, you know? Why not go with the alt path? We don't want to blow those up. 10% chance. More pedestals equals more, more pog. I couldn't agree more. More pedestals equals more pog. At some point, I'm going to need, like, a damage up. But, you know. We got time. Did you actually say Poggy Woggy to your parents? No, but so I didn't say Poggy Woggy, I'll admit. Because they wouldn't know what that means. But I did actually, on text chat, I typed, Let's go. With, like, six O's. I think they can do the math on that one and figure out what it is. They know what Let's Go is, I'm sure. Let's Go... I was gonna type LFG, but I don't think they know LFG. Hey. <laughs> yeah, like the baby. I do it... Look. Hey, man. I was... I, I'm I'm taking some heat for saying I think that the, the, the baby meme is uh, lazy, low effort, insubordinate, and churlish. Just keep in mind who was on the, the, the baby meme last year and everybody told me to stop pretending to be a zoomer every dark souls randomizer tiktok death compilation i made had the song in it you gonna die you gonna die you know people are like dad you're embarrassing me now everyone's like let's go it's the same thing i, I always go son of a son of a I always go back to that uh, tweet I made where, like... Oh, we have a key now. Thank God. Uh, everybody... Gangsta till the memes come out. No, I always go back to the tweet where I was like... Um, people will actually, like, make fun of a, a little kid for dabbing. But they were doing Praise the Sun for 10 years. Yes, hello. Mm. Okay. <laughs> just a just a daily diaper news briefing. Leprosy. Okay, that is not what we're looking for. We're in a we're in a bit of a spice situation, but we do have a one hundred percent devil deal chance. We we haven't used Satanic Bible yet. Hold on, I gotta think. I gotta think. I like my odds against the, uh, bosses more- Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say- Well, I was right, yeah, I was gonna say I like my odds against the bosses more than I like my odds against the enemies, but I really wanted to fish for the charge. Alright, let's try again. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. 
The great, the, the easiest marker of a great Isaac player is not their ability to finesse wins, it's their ability to, to let a loss just kind of roll off of them. Yeah, it's a marathon. What is the goal? The goal is, uh, is beating the game. Okay, tough choice. <laughs> yeah, the goal is uh, is is completing the game if possible. You know, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna respond to this because you know it's one thing if you see it show up twenty times in chat on one day. It's another thing altogether if you see it show up on a second day. That's somebody who very much wants their question answered, and I I respect the tenacity. The question is, NL, do you watch the Olympics? The answer to this question may surprise you. I, um, don't, uh, it, it depends on the time zone, right? I'll, I'll make time to watch some aspects of the Winter Olympics, particularly iced hockey. Uh, Summer Olympics may be mildly controversial. I, I don't even get out of bed. If the, if the Summer Olympics were happening down the street, I don't know if I would even get tickets. Okay, cool, they can run fast, like... Like, I can't imagine, like, what happens if you buy... Tickets for, like, the 100 meter dash, right? Like... Aren't, aren't you paying, like, a thousand dollars for a race that's 9.6 seconds long? I, I feel like you're, you're paying just to say, like, you know, I was here, you know what I mean? They do multiple races on the same day? Yeah, but nobody's there like, like oh, do if you get 100 meter dash tickets, guess what? Like, I'm also throwing the shot put for free. Nobody, everyone's going to the bathroom during the shot put section. I went to the Summer Olympics in Sydney. It was pretty fun. Yo, did you see the Thorpedo? Ian Thorpe with a size 17 feet. I remember uh, essentially one athlete from from every Summer Olympics, but I will from 2004 until uh, 2000. Oh, oh, I want I want this. Yeah, from 2004 until 2016, it was really easy because you could just say like uh, Usain Bolt and Michael Phelps. Ooh, 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 Michael Phelps. That kind of works, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, really? What about the 1952 Finland Olympics? Um, was the guy from the Winter War who accidentally, like, uh, boofed all his methamphetamine in one go and then woke up, like, three weeks later in a ditch? Was he in there? I feel like he could probably, like, run a marathon. Yeah, the, the Winter Soldier, Bucky Barnes, Bucky Solani. He's a legend. Look it up. I did. I made up one part of that. He did not boof the the meth, but he did consume his entire military supplied box of methamphetamine in a single dose, and then you know basically live out Jason Statham's like life from uh, Crank High Voltage. I don't know what this is, and rubber cement is cool, but we're gonna take the new item. Oh, wait, hold on. I've seen this in, uh, in Anti-Birth, I'm sure. Spore Tears. When are Instant Pot Carnitas back on the menu? Straight up? Oh, dude, that's pretty cool. Instant Pot Carnitas are dead for the time being. Um... Simply because, like, we have the lunch uh, deliveries coming instead. And then, also, like, the air fryer has killed my desire to temporarily use the Instant Pot. But right now, like, my lunches are handled. So I don't have, uh, I don't have an insane need to use the, uh, the Instant Pot. Perhaps one day it will revert. I do love to make a nice soup stew or curry. But the air fryer is like, it's sick nasty, man. Don't even get me, don't even get me started. Because you know how this is going to go. 
You already know how this is gonna go. You know what was blowing me away, actually? And this is not even like air fryer discourse. Um, this is old bandage 101. That's not old bandage, you fool. There you go. Somebody in the Discord, and you might be here right now. It's not mean-spirited in the slightest. Okay, I can't follow this. I simply cannot follow this. I think we just take Mom's knife, even though it probably ruins our... Uh, our spore tiers, and I think we just leave and keep our HP somewhat high. Um, but... Not a secret room, huh? Somebody in the Discord was like, I don't even understand why people preheat their oven. And I was like, what are you talking about? And they're like, I just put the food in, like, when the, and I turned the oven on and I put the food in immediately. And I was, dude, I, we, we got to stop the muscle memory because we almost took a tears upgrade instead of the rune bag here. I would describe myself as, as flabbergasted. I think that's, oh, EPP Tom, thank you for the gifted subscription. Thank you. Oh, there's a freaking double tinted rock there, man. Just add, like, two minutes to the timer. I'm jealous. Oh, my God. I'm jealous of people who have uh, an oven that heats that fast. Because our oven... I mean, it's a new oven, but... It takes probably 15 minutes to preheat to, like, 400, 425, 450. Um, oh, yeah, we can only hold one more item. I don't know if it's like a difference between, I don't know, it doesn't matter that much. Like, the thing is, I don't really feel like you're, um, you're winning, you know, by putting your stuff in the oven. Oh, we can cycle what item gets taken out, huh? Well, that's an easy choice. Um, I don't really think you win by putting stuff in the oven before it preheats. Like, don't you just have to add almost the exact same amount of time to it in order to get it cooked properly. I mean, I get that it's raising in temperature as you cook it, but like... Oh. EVP Tom, thank you again. Thank you. It's less effort. It, but it's actually like not, though. What do you mean? You're, you're hitting the same amount of buttons. You just... You might open the door one last time. Um... I don't think we need this. I think, I think we're gonna take a little risk. I'm gonna take fake mulligan. That's fine. You have to walk to the kitchen an extra time? You guys are putting your stuff in the oven and then just leaving it, like, unsupervised? Is that how I end up seeing all those pictures where, like, the pizza has melted through the rack of the oven? <laughs> and that is, like, all over the base? That's crazy talk. I, yeah, I'm, I saw somebody in chat. I very much agree with this take. I, when I need to start cooking, I start the preheating, and then I start chopping vegetables. I mean, I get, like, with the frozen pizza, it's kind of a different story, but... I use the preheat... I, I group the preheat time and the uh, preparation time simultaneously. You know, it's a, it's a lumped task. You sit there for 30 minutes and stare at the oven? No, but I, I stay in the vicinity, you know, just every once in a while I'll turn the oven light on and then, like, take a peek at it. Oh, out of these two, you obviously take supper. I mean, we have to. I, I can't not take Brimstone Mom's Knife just to see how it even works in this. Oh, we've okay, and we've dropped supper. Hold on. Please remove spore tears that presumably don't do anything for us right now. Or, you know, you could probably get rid of Tough Love. And then give me my supper back. Okay, you don't get the double pickup. Well, if you don't get the double pickup, then then get rid of the HP. Yeah, yeah. And then, okay, we already got rid of that one. All right, I understand. I understand. So if you remove HP, you don't actually lose the HP. You just lose the, the, the look of the item. That's extremely good intel. So HP is still very, you know, precious to receive. We will purchase a spirit heart. Black rune is such a good get, too. 
Get rid of old bandage then. Excuse me. Old bandage uh, gives you a chance to get red hearts. Uh, we need to buy a bomb. Uh, gives you a chance to get red hearts when you uh, get hit. Now, just let me... Uh, we, we might as well try to do the full alt path. So just work with me here. We're going to suck this up. It became a nice damage upgrade. We're going to use two bombs. Mirror, mirror. I mean, I, you know, you, you're going you're gonna to make me lose my mind up in here. I literally just said we should do the alt path. And then people were like, has he thought about the mirror? Is he thought we, he's going to forget about the mirror. Like three seconds ago, I was like, the, we're going to go through the mirror. Everybody chill out. Good Lord. I don't want you to miss it. I was talking about this, uh, and again, this is going to come across as bitter, but I, I mean it more as, like, relatable. I was talking about it in a, a YouTube Isaac episode, and I was like, you know, there's some things, like, I prefer to do on Twitch. There's some things I prefer to do on YouTube. Uh, long Isaac episodes, 100% I prefer to do on YouTube. Because, like, you could be balls deep in an anecdote like about to build to the first punchline of the stream so far and people people are like tinted rock and you're like i don't even have any bombs and they're like yeah i just didn't i just don't know if you saw it and i'm like okay just just chill man it's okay don't worry about it we're <laughs> just it's it's not my first rodeo we got we got three thousand hours in this game you might make the occasional like suboptimal play but like just, just slow your roll, relax a little. Yeah, we're still in control. You know, like, when you backseat drive, like, you don't go like, oh, you should have taken that turn at, like, a slightly different angle. You're like, please slow down, there's a guy behind you who's too close. You know, you gotta, you gotta pick your moments. Okay, now, I'm thinking... I think we get rid of Spore Tears, they do nothing for us at the time being. And I'm actually gonna take the evil up, just to give us some more survival for the time being. Yeah, you got maximum eight items. EVP Tom, thank you again. Thank you. Yeah, we gotta, like... So, I, I've gotta think now. The best thing I would love to do would be to cycle HP upgrades. Like, trade HP for HP. HP for HP and HP and HP and HP and HP and so on and so forth. Um, but we really don't need anything else right now. Except, like, if I could get rid of... Either... Like, Tough Love and Old Bandage can go, and then replace them with um, something that generates Spirit Hearts would be pretty cool. That's about it. That's all I got on the, on the, on the noggin right now. <clears throat> if Chess was in the Olympics, who would be Canada's athlete? Um... It's a tough question. I, I I don't I don't know Canada's top chess player right now to be honest with you, but um, I do know we we would get you know we wouldn't do very well. <laughs> is my guess. <laughs> not not the worst. We got a pretty good chess uh, culture in Canada, but you know not as much as like you know some Eastern European and Asian countries. And then we also definitely suffer on the population size as well. Yeah, anything can happen, but... You know, Norway, Russia, America... Probably be looking at, at some, some very... Uh, China, some very stiff competition. Speaking of which... Because they're bones, get it? <clears throat> I'm thinking about moving to Canada. Thoughts? Um... This comes up now and then. I never know how to answer it, right? Like, I don't know. It, it would, are you are you like a like a fossil fuel like billionaire, or are you like barely a, making ends meet? It makes a pretty big difference. But I do laugh sometimes. People are like, "Hey, I'm thinking of like uh, moving to the country." Where you've chosen to live your life, do you recommend it? 
I don't know what you, what are you what are you asking me to say? You you expect I'm gonna be like yeah, absolutely not? <laughs> I am Bill Gates. Thoughts? I I allow uh, Bill Gates. Sure, I I'd, I'd sign his approval letter. I'd be like, sure, come on, Bill. You know what? We can now get rid of safety pin as well. We don't want strange attractor, but we could. We could get rid of safety pin. 24 hour ban, permanent. Okay, I'm just thinking. We're safe for now. We can only hold eight items. You're gonna have to make some serious, serious plays to get me to take Strange Attractor. <laughs> What do we got? Synth oil. Great item. Very happy with the swap. Let's use AWAS immediately. And let's just, uh, we'll just head down to the next floor. Yeah, we're fine. I don't mind. I'd rather get out of the curse for now. What are your thoughts on, on Monday steak? Um, yeah, baby. Monday steak, baby, yeah. Freaking Monday steak, baby. Uh, w whatever the day, make it your day. F yeah, baby. Monday, F and Monday steak. Something along those. Is that what you're looking for? I did watch the video about seventy times last night. Just he's got it. I and then I I thought I got mouth really good when he was like I don't see what makes this video so like enticing for you and I said oh right I forgot that's just how people in Ontario talk. Oh they, fucking rights bud fucking fucking moosehead in my Muskoka chair on a long weekend May two four bud fucking yeah baby fucking a bud. Okay I don't know what this item is but we will take it. Stitches, bait and switch. It's an active item. Okay, okay, hold on. It's an active item? What do you do? We swap, we teleport, okay. We hit those. Let me see what we got here. Uh, <laughs> like... Neither of the uh, these items are super good. Uh, but we definitely oh we I'm just just looking for a sec. Just just give me a moment. Tough love does nothing for us. I don't mind swapping it with Steam Sale. It does very little for us, let's put it that way. And then my my kind of hope is that we can use Steam Sale and then on a shop. We'll buy some things half price and then swap to them. I think that would be that would be cool. I also would not mind a new active. Like I, I would say for the time being, I don't have a, a problem because we didn't have an active to begin with. But th this active is not uh, requires maybe a little more uh, brain power than I consider myself likely to have. Okay, well we should work Steam Sale over to get closer to Spun. And then swap immediately back. I wonder if that'll work. I, I hope it does, but it may not. Sack, Alter, and Guppy's Eye. I mean, Sack, Alter is mighty tough. Obviously, we have some things it could take. But it would also, uh, like, kill us. <laughs> Probably, so let's just not and say we did. Um, yeah, I think we're going to just slow our roll here. Curse of, uh, of Darkness is no joke anymore. Guppy's Eye allows you to see uh, what's inside of variable outcome vessels and instruments, such as a, uh, a chest or even like seeing which fires have, uh, have spirit hearts in them. And I don't know if you can see like what mushrooms would have like magic mush or something like that. It's a good item. We're just, you know, we're a little low on HP. Okay. 
Let's, let's do our... Yeah, let's do our test. We can do that. I don't know if they're going to let me teleport here, but we'll, we'll give it a try nonetheless. Three more cents, baby. Yeah, baby. Freaking money, baby. Steak, baby. Ribeye. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you can choose which item to switch just by using uh, control to, to target whichever item you feel is lowest yield. You can already fly, so it should be a cakewalk. Here we go again. Okay. And now, what do you think about the cleaning mode on ovens? I don't know what kind of answer you'd be looking for here. Um, thought we could get out of the way of that one. Um, I'm, I'm for them, I guess, is what I would say. I mean, doesn't it... The way I understand self-cleaning on an oven is that it just gets like hot as hell and then when it when it's done and it cools down you just kind of scrape the detritus out of it it burns away all the all the badness but i do have a i, I have a question like i've used it but like when your oven is that was not wise when your oven is dirty like one of one of the reasons you don't want it to be dirty is because when you're cooking, the dirt kind of burns. And it, it gets all, like, smoky and stuff, right? But, like, since self-cleaning gets so hot, doesn't it cause, like, an incredible amount of smoke when you use it? Uh, I... Am I, am I stuck? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm so confused. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. I, I didn't see that, uh, that one tile there. There we go. Thought we could squeeze? Yo, you take a full heart, huh? You're not joking. Getting a bone heart would be sick. So here's what I'm thinking. We don't need steam sail for this room. Why don't you just justice me and then give me this bone heart. And I'm hoping... I'm not 100% confident. Oh, come on, man. Well, there goes the bone heart. <laughs> I was hoping it would let us keep it after the room, but... Okay, I gotta remember, like... We just need to use range knife. Like, we're totally fine as long as we just don't try to get in their face with mom's knife against enemies we don't understand. Do we lose the tears up? We do. I think losing the tears up is fine. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I'd rather get rid of. And I don't think there is. I think we'll accept that. Old bandage? You you guys are like actually like I know how this is gonna come across as like toxic. I think you guys are just wrong. We can have a civil disagreement about it, but like the amount of HP that you need to do like alt path wins is is quite high. I feel like you are incorrect. I mean, I was watching and and I know that there's more people and it's a different amount of people as well. Um or a different group of people uh, in general. I didn't go through the right door. <laughs> um okay, you can make fun of me for that one for sure. Well, presumably we get to keep the bombs, right? Um but I was, like, watching in Dan's chat. Like, Dan was like, hey, what should I do, like, on this shop? And the consensus take was, like, unbelievably bad. Almost every time. Like, I was losing my mind. Like, I can't think of, like, specific examples. But just, like, they Dan would walk into a shop and be like, what should I do here? And people would just come up with, like... Like, overly complicated things that were, like, a flex on what they could do, but actually were just, like, to prove how clever they were, but make their run worse. And I was like, what are you, what are you doing to my poor Daniel here? Why don't you just tell him, like, like do A. That's it. Just say do A. 
Don't be like, well, first you're gonna buy the dice shard, and then I would consult the wiki on this side. I'm like, you guys are losing your minds. Just hit it. Just tell him to buy the map. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in my own ability here. Let me put it that way. I've gotten this far with a seven-day uh, backlog on, on backseating. Just do A. Well, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm buying King Baby just temporarily, like in the hopes that it would get us closer to conjoined. And then, um... Definitely don't feel like the peeler is is in our is in our worldview today. A little bit light on HP. Like I'm I'm a firm believer in the idea that like Isaac. Oh, we could just teleport there maybe. Oh, although this guy's not moving. Oh, 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 because we move him. He doesn't float around by himself or match our movement. We actually place him. Okay, okay. Oh, plus we can fly. <laughs> You're not wrong. But I'm a I'm a big believer in the idea that like Isaac by committee like, like just doesn't work. And moreover, like, you know, take offense if you want. But I also think it leads to like the most boring, like smoothed out possible Isaac you could ever ask for. It's not my vibe. Like I it, it's been fun, don't get me wrong. I've had a great time streaming Isaac. Um Especially, like, discovering the new stuff. Like, there, there's no, like, secondary... There, there's no replacement for that, you know? Like, seeing something new with an audience for the first time. But then there's also, like... Like, there's been a lot of days where I'm like, thank God it's over. <laughs> Just to be honest, because I'm like, oh my God. Like, I would have thought that the... Uh, that the back seating would be like better on a game that I've played a bunch because people would be like, hey, you know, he's played so much of it. We don't need to tell him like he forgot like a single key back there when he's already got like 40 keys or something like that. But it's actually so much worse because I know what I'm doing that I take it harder. I think is the, the way I would describe it. Okay. Well, let's just do, let's do basic path. We'll take the Polaroid. Like, the backseating, like, hey, you forgot, like, this thing is, is warranted. I appreciate it. Let's try this. This will be interesting. But the backseating that's like, hey, you know, you, you, I know you got 80 cents, but, like, 10 rooms ago you forgot a penny. I'm like, please stop. <laughs> For both of our sake, just, I'm just asking you to just, just chill. Just be on the level. If we die, we die. We're playing the game for a billion years anyway. I would don't worry about it. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pop algae's. I keep I get too close. We get hit by an explosion. Not a good vibe. We play Wheel of Fortune. No, I don't think, like, I mean, there's no antidote to, to like, backseating, I think. I think the, you basically just have to choose, like, how you uh, deal with it as a streamer. Normally, it's not so bad, honestly. I, I feel like a baby, like, complaining about it, but it really is, like, it's got the vibes, like, all askew for the past few days. For sure. Like, the only thing you can really do is, I walked into red poop. Oh, that hurts. The only thing you can really do is, like, um, is just start, like, you know, having, like, a zero-tolerance policy. And I don't want to put the mods through that when we have, like, 9,500 people in chat. <laughs> but we are close. Like, we're, we're, we're close to, like, all tabbing to the Discord and being, like, there's a chance. Or, that's true, Macros. We could put it in, uh... We could put it in via uh, emote only mode, aka only VIPs can talk. 